Illegal drug offences, women tricked into prostitution through promises of marriage. These are just some of the reports now emerging from Iraqi Kurdistan's Syrian refugee camp. Thousands of Syrians have migrated to Dumez camp in Duhok province. The camp's manager says the influx of refugees has affected crime rates in neighbouring Duhok city. A large number of the refugees are bachelors who do not have a family. There are bad people among them. The rate of crime has increased and the security situation has changed. In the past, people at Duhok Bazaar did not close their shops. People did not lock their cars or close their house doors. People in Duhok had 100% security, but now we do not have this. Most of the refugees are Syrian Kurds. There are reports that some refugees suffer from mental health illnesses. Such illnesses could be linked to life in the camp, unemployment and uncertainty about the future. Anxiety and depression are the most significant illnesses they face as a result of their unpleasant situation. Some people might develop these illnesses earlier than others depending on their state of mind. The symptoms are very clear. They're very pessimistic, weak, sad and upset. They do not have any desire to eat and their thoughts are very negative. There are about 44,000 refugees in Dumiz camp. That number has decreased from over 50,000 a few weeks ago. The warmer weather has encouraged people to leave the camp and find work in Kurdistan's other cities. The influx of refugees has had an economic impact on Duhok city. The manager of Dumiz camp says around 20,000 refugees are working in Duhok city. He claims that's reduced the pool of job opportunities for local residents. Thousands of refugees have found their own accommodation in the city. That's pushed up rent prices and reduced the availability of accommodation. The manager of Dumiz camp argues that crime and economic problems are inevitable when so many refugees gather in one place. Press TV previously reported health and sanitation concerns due to overcrowding in the camp. Earlier this year, Kurdistan's regional government decided to build more refugee camps to take the pressure off of Demiz camp. Dale McEwen, Press TV, Arbil.